How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking about my second dose of the COVID vaccine. I specifically got the Pfizer vaccine, and I'm going to be detailing to you all my first 48 hours on my second dose. If you haven't seen my first video already, video slash vlog, be sure to check it out about my first dose experience because you're going to be kind of surprised by the reactions I got on my second dose when you watch this video. But in summary, my first dose was actually uh, pretty well tolerated, I would assume. The first 48 hours, I did get a pretty nasty stomach discomfort slash ache, and I had to take a acetaminophen for it. Actually, antacids didn't really work at all, and um, I had to go through that process. But now we're going to talk about my second dose. So my second dose was actually scheduled on February 26th of 2021, <laughs> obviously. And I got it at the same location I got my first dose, Grady Hospital in Atlanta, one of the biggest trauma centers in the city of Atlanta. And this is uh, what I had to say for the morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's around 9.50 a.m. And today I'm going in for my second dose. I'm waiting for my car to heat up and then I'll drive over to... Grady Hospital. I mean, this morning was pretty, it's pretty gloomy outside today. It's a little rainy. It's a little colder than usual. So it's going to be interesting on walking to the hospital because I will be doing off street parking. But I am excited to get my second dose. I have my vaccination card right here. And um, I'm excited to be fully vaccinated today. So I arrived at the hospital around 10.30 a.m. that morning and luckily parking was ample and everywhere because we are in a pandemic and not a lot of people are actually going to hospitals unless it's an emergency. So we were able to park pretty quickly, get to the clinic very quickly. Actually, my friend who came with me ended up coming to the clinic 30 minutes in advance. And actually the vaccination clinic wasn't busy at all especially because we're Georgia is still in the phase 1a trial which is only for first responders and healthcare workers and people above the age of 65 so we kind of just walked into the vaccine clinic self checked in so we didn't even have to interact with anyone stood in a line for about 10 minutes I sat down with the nurse surprisingly I got the same nurse that uh, gave me my first shot of the covid-19 vaccine and uh, she she actually remembered me because it was so quick um, it was like about three weeks since I rescheduled it and she gave me this same spiel as before um, I'm going to feel more major side effects the second day so uh, just be very careful especially in the second dose most people have the most severe reactions I also told her about my tummy ache that I got my first uh, vaccine dosage and she said that is pretty common but more people experience it on the second dose so she said that it was pretty interesting to hear that someone like me as young as I am got a pretty more a, a lot more robust uh, side effects in my first dose so she told me to keep up with my own body and my second dose and to have whoever's living with me take care of me on the second day if I really feel bad now you'll be surprised what kind of side effects I do get on this second dose when we talk later about it but pretty standard they still had us wait the 15 minutes after we got our dose to make sure we aren't reacting adversely to anything and after the 15 minutes we got our card back the card was filled out with our information and we were allowed to go home and that was it that was it for our vaccination they congratulated us and um i drove my friend back home i drove myself back home and it was raining a lot i got super wet and uh, this was the update right before I headed inside my apartment. Hey y'all, so I just got back. It's around 12 p.m. I'm super wet, so I'm probably gonna have to hang up all my clothes, but I got vaccinated. Very excited to see what's gonna happen, but before that, I'm gonna go take a nap. So after I went inside, I actually didn't end up taking a nap. I, just, I was just too anxious uh, about getting the vaccine, so I decided to get back up. I laid down for about an hour, but then I started noticing my first symptoms. Hey y'all, it's around 1 p.m. and I got my dose at 11-ish and so it's been about two hours since I got the vaccine and my arm's already sore. It's not extremely sore, but I would say it's like a 2 out of 10, but it's already sore and I remember on my first dose my arm started getting sore 
around 5 p.m. So it started getting sore a lot sooner than the first dose. So after that update, pretty much for the rest of the day, I was completely fine. I got a little bit of tiredness on me, but I honestly think it was the weather because it was how, because of how gloomy and like rainy it was. I always get like into a bad, weird headspace when it is rainy like that. But I was able to study just fine. I did my n normal intensive study work that I usually do without any distractions. And everything was pretty smooth. I put up this update at 8 p.m. But other than that, there wasn't anything significant for the rest of the day. Hey y'all, super quickie update. It's around 8.30. Honestly, not a lot of side effects today. My arm pain did get my cat is scratching his cut scratching post but arm pain did get a little bit more intense it's like at a 5 out of 10 now similar to how it was my first uh, vaccine dose but other than that not anything else I contacted my friend who got the vaccine with me today and actually she ended up canceling our study session tonight because she got a headache so I'm not feeling any of that I am feeling a little bit of fatigue but it's not abnormal. Sometimes I get this kind of fatigue the day after the gym. So I'm fine, but stay tuned. Hey y'all, it's around 12.30, a little bit past the 24 hour mark of my uh, second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. And I'm doing actually surprisingly okay. Last night in the middle of the night around four-ish, I got a headache and some chills. I took some Tylenol and immediately like after like 20 minutes all of those symptoms went away. I was able to go back to sleep. I woke up in the morning feeling completely fine, feeling completely normal. It's been 20 a little bit more than 24 hours and I'm completely fine still. I will say that my friend who got the vaccine with me has been sick. She told me she got a fever, chills, body aches and she even threw up. So I'm starting to think maybe because I got such a robust response in my first dose that I'm getting a lower response in the second dose because my friend had almost no symptoms the first dose and is having these symptoms now. So uh, I'm doing great. I, uh, I don't have anything to report. So I'll catch you up on tonight and the following morning when we hit the 48 hour mark. So yeah, around 4 a.m. I woke up in the middle of the night with like a really bad sharp headache that was like near the front of my head. And I remember just getting chills, like extreme chills. So I woke up my partner and my partner took up the time. It was 4 a.m. That's why I know it, that was the time. And my partner got me some acetaminophen and I took two tablets of it. 20 minutes, I'm back to being knocked out. Slept like a baby, didn't wake up. I didn't even feel any chills when I fell asleep. During the time when I was falling asleep, I could feel my body getting the chills, but while I was asleep, nothing. Woke up feeling great as ever. I was able to brush my teeth. Everything was completely, completely fine. And even after I made that update in the morning, I honestly felt completely normal, except for um, two really big things. In the middle of the afternoon while I was studying, I realized it got harder and harder to concentrate on my schoolwork. So I started taking longer breaks. Then I realized I was getting a bit of brain fog, which means that I was getting a lot of distractions, but also I was having a really hard time staying concentrated and motivated. So I started noticing that. And I also realized that I needed to sit down more and I definitely did not have any energy to want to go exercise even outside or even in my own apartment. So I took it easy. And then around 7, 8-ish p.m., I started getting a really nasty headache, but not at the front of my head, but near the back, like kind of right here. Um, and I kind of had to deal with that. I ended up taking acetaminophen again, uh, maybe once or twice more, but that eliminated the headache. And other than that, I was just tired throughout most of the day. It wasn't extreme fatigue either because I was able to do most of the things. I even finished all my study goals for the day, which is pretty intensive and um, had no problems whatsoever. So this was the last update I made 
the night after before the following day. Hey y'all, it's around 10 p.m. at night right now, the day after I've gotten my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. I am doing really great. I am incredibly surprised by how little side effects I experienced in my second dose. And I did experience a lot of fatigue in the afternoon more than usual. It seemed like the fatigue I usually get on really heavy rainy days, gloomy rainy days, but it wasn't gloomy outside. So that's the kind of fatigue I felt. I was also experiencing a lot of brain fog and getting distracted a lot. But other than that, I had a little bit of like neck pain in the back. I still have some right now. But other than that, nothing much else. I've been able to study all day. I even filmed a video for a research presentation that's probably going to get uploaded before this video. And yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty awesome. And I ended up messaging my friend who got the Pfizer vaccine with me. And she didn't get many symptoms on her first dose. But on her second dose, she's been in bed literally in the last 24 to 36 hours. She's been in bed. She told me she's been throwing up a lot. She said she hasn't really eaten much. Uh, just getting in fluids and that's about it. So... Maybe it's because I had a much stronger reaction my first dose than my second dose. It wasn't as bad. And maybe she had a more stronger dose because she didn't really get much of a reaction on her first dose. I don't know. Each body is different. But my experience has been pretty, pretty normal and pretty um, handable. Hey, y'all. It's a little bit past the 48-hour mark since I got the, my second dose of the Pfizer vaccine. And I'm completely back to normal. I feel as fine as ever. I'm actually dressed up to go uh, visit my parents who are part of my pod. And yeah, I'm as good as I've ever been. I'm going to go back to the gym tomorrow and go back to my usual routine. Um, so yeah, my second dose, honestly, not that significant compared to my first dose. I think my first dose was a lot worse. In my second dose i also reached out to my friend who got really sick who got the second dose with me and she said she feels 30 percent better so she's obviously doing a lot worse than i am right now so it just says that like people re are going to react differently uh to the vaccine i would suggest that if you do end up getting a stronger response on your first dose that maybe you might get a lesser response in the second dose which is what happened to me but uh, just be wary of that. I love you all. I'm going to be safe. I'm vaccinated and I hope all of you will soon get vaccinated as well. So yeah, that was basically my first 48 hours on the second dose. Honestly, I am very surprised by the fact that I almost experienced, I almost experienced nothing. Like I almost had no side effects whatsoever. I was bracing for the worst. I was bracing to have to take the whole weekend off. I even messaged my mom the day before and was like, hey, mom, if I can't come and visit, you know, no hard feelings, probably because I'm going to be really sick from COVID-19, um, from this COVID-19 vaccine. And um, she was like, yeah, I understand. But I was able to go and visit my parents the following Sunday in the 48 hour mark. So I am incredibly grateful to not have the more severe side effects that most people have reported on that second dose. So just be aware that everybody's going to be a little bit different. Some people are going to have more severe side effects there on their first dose, like me. Some people are going to have worse side effects on their second dose, like my friend and a bunch of other people that I know. So be wary. Just know that you're going to be safe. And like I've talked to everyone that have had much worse symptoms than me on their second dose, if they had the option to do it again, they will absolutely do it again to stay safe, to keep their family and friends safe, and so that no more lives can be lost on this pandemic. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you will share it with someone who may benefit from this information. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Twitter, Twitter to keep up with my daily life and the activism work that I do, and I'll see you on the next video. This has been.